at the end of your tenure in New Jersey, you, you did shift to a new position in the front office, albeit a very, for a very brief time before you became GM here. Do you see the day when you will desire to shift into another position here, or, or is being GM just something that what gets you up in the morning? Is it, is it something that you see doing for a long time? I've known Pierre for as long as I've known anybody in this room. He keeps trying and trying, and try. I gotta give him a lot of credit for it. Next question. <laughs> it's, rare to see, it's rare to see um, the kind of top end rookies on one team that you had last year. Is there, especially among the top three guys, is there an internal competition with Austin and Marner and Neilander and Quebec to see who gets better at what speed? If it is, we're not aware of it. Um, uh, what I like about, uh, you know, the three you're talking about, but I think you should add three more to that, whether it's uh, Hyman and Brownie and Zaysef, they all came in as young players. The respect they have for each other, uh, the admiration they have when they see each and every one of them do something unique or different or something unexpected, how happy they are. I think all you had to do is look at some of the bench shots last year of the players when things transpired out there and the smile in their face and the fun they're having with each other and growing together. Um, and they want to win. And they know how important it is to have a teammate who's talented and that the success of the teammate is going to make their success better. And remember, whenever you have success, when you have team success, each and every player is better. And I think they know that. Uh, and they've been used to pressure. If you look at each and every one of their uh, resumes as young players, they've, they've won. They've won in the past. So it's not a new thing. Was it like that with Stevens and Niedermeyer and, and, and those guys? Without question. Without question. I don't, I couldn't sit here and think of one situation where one thought that they didn't depend upon the other. Uh, they. They depended upon the other, and they wanted each and every to have success. All great teams have that. That's the foundation. Patrick Marlowe is uh, going to be the top paid forward on the team as it stands now. In your eyes, what constitutes a successful season for him? What constitutes success? A successful season from him. From him? Yeah. I think, first of all, it's what the team has, has, has for success. That's a successful season for him. It won't matter each and every individual, what they contribute, as long as they're contributing and the team has success. That's going to be, that's going to determine any one of our players' uh, success. You can take out individually statistics. Um, and I've said this, I, I can, you know, I've had the good fortune of having some great teams. Teams that won. I don't remember who the leading scorer was, but I know each and every player who was on that cup. And I can remember players doing individual things that they might not play the next game. That's what it's all about. So his success will be determined in team success, like each and every other player. All of us. Can you look at uh, the group of young players that you have and the ones who are looking, perhaps might be ready to make that jump to the NHL, then the veterans you have. How tough a team to make do you see the Leafs as right now? How tough a team? Yeah. We certainly have team toughness. We have mental toughness, which is just as important as physical toughness. Um, I like our team. You know, but if we thought there was a need for something, I, I think we would do that. I, we thought there was a need for it two years ago, what transpired, and we tried to handle that. So right now, we feel very good about where we're at. And if we thought that was a need, that would have been taken care of during the summer.